I see the comments and requests and I will act on them. Please remember to follow Geography World channel on Instagram and Facebook using the link shown on the screen. Please remember to like, share with your friends and subscribe. For person wishing to contact me privately, you may email me at geographyworld100 at gmail.com. The link will be posted below. Welcome back to Geography World channel, where for this video we're focusing on the May June 2016 Geography Cape Unit 2 Paper 2 examination. Now we'll be focusing on question number six, which is a part of module three. Let me go down to it. So question number six, A part one, asks that we draw diagrams to illustrate the features of a normal fault. Now I'm going to show you a normal fault. Now this is a normal fault and a normal fault is basically caused by tensional forces where the hanging wall drops in relation to the foot wall. So the hanging wall it drops in relation to the foot wall. Now once you have that you should get two marks. Now part two of the question asks us to insert the foot wall and the down trust in the diagram that you have drawn in A by above. I'm going to go back to another diagram and with the foot wall, let me go back to this one first. The foot wall is the bottom part of the rock below the fault plane. So this is the foot wall. So once you're able to label it, you should get your mark. Now the down trust is when the hanging wall moves down or under the foot wall. So this is it. So the hanging wall it moved down and under the foot wall so once you're able to draw a diagram like this and label it then you should get the two marks for your quiz for your answer now part two part b sorry asks us to describe how coastal flooding may be caused by sea level changes and the type of precipitation events now when there is a change in the sea level it makes it difficult for water in the river to flow into the ocean because the sea is too high thus water will be forced over onto the flood plains right now coastal flooding is just when the coastal region is basically covered underwater now whenever there is a change in the sea level there is high tide it makes it a bit difficult for the, the water from the river to actually get into the sea so what happens is that sometimes it basically causes it to overflow onto the flood plain as it relates to the type of precipitation activities extreme rainfall events may cause coastal regions to be flooded because water drains from the land or water from the river channel so if we have extreme weather condition infiltration will be really really slow the infiltration will be really really slow hence we have a lot of surface runoff and the surface runoff is what will basically help to flood the coastal region part c here to explain using an example the relationship between plate tectonics and volcano now volcanoes are basically formed when a continental and an oceanic crust meets the continental so you can look at it at convergent and at divergent boundaries so the continental crust is lighter than the oceanic crust while the oceanic crust is denser than the continental crust so what happens is that the oceanic crust will sub not beneath the crust beneath the continental crust and the oceanic crust will melt the oceanic crust will melt in the asthenosphere and along the subduction zone will have volcanic island arcs developing. So at divergent plate boundaries now we have the two plates that are pulling away from each other thus causing a tear or crack in the, in, the, in the earth's crust. So where the tear or the crack is in the earth's crust the magma will escape through that tear while at convergent plate boundaries the plates are coming towards each other and the oceanic plate is subducting and being melted in the mantle and this is where it will come right along the subduction though you have volcanic island arcs being developed question 7 shows the aftermath of a flood and where to answer the question that follows so this is the picture that is showing us the aftermath of the flood now part 1 it asks us to identify the type of flood which caused the effect shown now a lot of students their answer for this question was ravine flooding but this is not a ravine flooding this is a flash flood
So the answer for part one is flash flood and remember that flash flood is basically a local flood that has a great amount of water and it has a very short duration so this area was covered under water and but it lasts for a very short time so this is a flash flood now we're to state three features of the landscape shown that influence this type of flooding and because it's a flash flood some of the features that you can list is that the there is a very deep narrow valley so if you look close at the picture you can see the deep narrow valley you can see also see the very steep slopes so the steep slopes and you can realize that the area the it has no form of vegetation so there's an absence of vegetation so there's no vegetation in this area and then you can talk about the funnel shape the funnel shape right so it has a very funnel shape now if you're able to list any three you should be able to receive your marks part b as that we describe using examples two effects of earthquakes on the natural environment and part two the built environment let's look at the natural environment so two effects of earthquake on the natural environment is that it can cause liquefaction it can cause landslides it can cause faults and it can basically cause the surface to rupture and we can cause tsunamis so once you're able to list to describe two of these effects you should be able to get the four marks for the natural environment for part two which is the built environment the effects are that they can be the earthquake can basically cause the collapse of building it can cause damage to the communication and transport infrastructures and it can cause dams to fail now once you're able to ex describe two of these two of these examples about the built or the human environment you should be able to get your four marks part c uh, part c says that people consciously take them place themselves at risk from natural hazards so we are to discuss five reasons for the preceding observation now in other words why do persons place themselves in areas that are prone to natural disasters or natural hazards now a few of the reasons that you could explore discuss is that due to the they have a lack of alternative due to poverty so because of their poverty level or the amount of finance that they have they really and truly they don't have a choice right so why would mass joe live on the bank of a river and he knows that once there is a heavy or prolonged amount of rainfall the river is going to be flooded it could be a case that Marjo is very very poor and he has nowhere else to go now hazardous areas another point is that hazardous areas have more economic opportunities such as fertile soil presence of minerals geothermal energy and employment opportunities so the hazardous areas they basically have more economic opportunities especially along the floodplain of a river remember that the floodplain is very very fertile and a lot of persons tend to do or practice agriculture along the floodplain and based on personal observation it is very fruitful right so a lot of persons they basically stay along hazardous area due to economic opportunities that are available now another reason is that people determine that the event occurred on a rare occasion and might not reoccur in lifetime now let us use a volcano so persons let's say let's use Sophia hills in montserrat now persons live at the foot of the volcano and because the volcano only erupts once every five years or once every ten years, person really and truly are like, okay, if I live here, I am only going to be affected by the volcano only once within every ten years. So I don't see a challenge here. So as soon as I realize the volcano is about to erupt, I just pack my two little bags and I go. And after the event has ended, I can return back to my home. So some persons they basically condition their minds to adopt 
to the, the, the occasion of the natural hazard. So another reason is that some even took preventative measures and hoped that it was sufficient to shield them from the exposure to the, ha to the hazard. Now some person they know that they're, they, they, the air that they're living in is prone to hazard, so they implement certain preventative measures. So for example, Mr. John, he lives close to the river the river bank he knows that when the rain falls heavily the river usually overflow its bank so what he did was that he built a very large wall in an effort to basically prevent his home from being flooded by the river now he in his mind think that that was sufficient enough however it could be that it was not sufficient enough because when the river floods it, his home was still affected. So even though he implemented certain preventative measures, it does not always prevent him, prevent him or her from the natural hazard. And another point that you could explore that some people accept the risks associated with the area so that they can reap the benefits of living in the region. So for example, we know that the Caribbean experienced hurricane during june and november every year and we know that some of these islands are significantly affected by a hurricane yet still we stay on these islands because we want to reap, reap the benefits that we have a lot of persons know that we we experience hurricane during the summer periods and they still come to the caribbean area because they want to reap some of the benefits here so once you're able to expound or discuss these five points or any other five points that you deem relevant, you should be able to get your 18 marks. We are at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and please remember to like, share, subscribe and turn on your post notification bell in order to receive more videos like these. Leave comments below suggesting topics that you would want me to present on. In the comment section below, comment the name of your school and the territory for a shout out in my next video. Until then, bye!